intelligence report on 9-11. Uh, so here, here are the real enemies of the United States. And we're told by idiots like John McCain that they are our allies. I'm afraid not, because on September 11th, the leading Eastern Christian patriarchs met with President Obama in the White House and told him there was no such thing as Syrian moderate rebels, that uh, his support for the, the Syrian opposition had led and w would lead to uh, deaths amongst uh, Syrian Christians and uh, other minorities. And, and the, the same group was then uh, spoken to by uh, Ted Cruz, who's a Christian Zionist. And by the way, Many Christians and even Islamic people well-versed in the New Testament told me in Tehran that the idea of Christian Zionism is a heresy uh, uh, in, in, uh, to Christian religion. It's a heresy uh, to the teachings of Jesus and, 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 the, uh, and the, what is in the New Testament. And there's no place in Christianity. You can't be a Zionist and a Christian at the same time. So I have news for people like Ted Cruz. Uh, he, he better make a decision on what he wants to be. He can't be both. And I would even suggest he can't be president. He was born in Canada. So his rhetoric uh, is not helpful to this debate uh, we see uh, about what's going on in the Middle East right now. We have a story here out of BBC News. Turkey allows Syria rebel training. Turkey has agreed to allow moderate Syrian rebels to be trained on its soil, the U.S. says, in its bid to combat the Islamic, Islamic State in Syria and Iraq. We've also got Saudi Arabia training those so-called moderate rebels. We've got the United States sending them more money, more arms. And yet we know that these arms, in many cases, fell directly into the hands of ISIS. And in fact, those so-called moderate rebels defected to and joined up with ISIS and gave them those arms that they had received from the likes of Jordan, Qatar and Saudi Arabia, in addition to Turkey. So, Wayne, I mean, to what extent is the U.S. policy in Syria of destabilizing the Assad regime responsible for the growth of ISIS? Absolutely connected to the growth of uh, ISIL or ISIS, or as the Arabs call it, Daesh. Um, th this group, um, th first of all, uh, we know that McCain, uh, with this fake Ph.D., Elizabeth Obagi went into um, uh, Syria last year and met with uh, al-Baghdadi, the head of ISIS. They, their, their picture was taken with him. And um, they've tried to dance around this issue. But these, um, these ISIS, ISIL guys are uh, basically um, paid for by the Qataris and the Saudis. As a matter of fact, it's, this this coalition of Obama is a joke because we're told that Saudi and Emirati and Qatari and Bahraini uh, pilots are flying missions against this group in, in Iraq and Syria. When, in fact, I was told by a Syrian uh, uh, who was in Tehran with me uh, that uh, brand, uh, huge uh, packages of cash um, are, have arrived uh, in ISIL hands in Aleppo in Syria complete with the Saudi and Qatari bank stamps on the wrappers around the cash. So uh, this has to be the first time that we've seen um, a military attack groups that they're also financing. Uh, their, their home governments are financing. The whole thing's a ruse. I'm afraid that the U.S. is not attacking ISIL positions. It's attacking Syrian uh, uh, military positions, Assad positions. For example, um, the U.S. claims it attacked the city of Raqqa in eastern Syria. It was two days after ISIL forces left the city. So we see this time. The U.S. also attacked a, a Syrian Air Force base that had not been taken over uh, by ISIL. It was in the hands of the Syrian Air Force. I, I would suggest that either Obama is lying to the American people or his own military and intelligence services are not telling him what uh, what's going on on the ground over there. Um, perhaps uh, he should send private emissaries over there. As I was in Tehran, he should send people to Damascus and to, to Tehran and to Beirut and find out himself what's going on over there. Those, those uh, Eastern Christian uh, patriarchs certainly told him and he seemed surprised when they said, oh, there's no such thing as Syrian moderate rebels. Uh, he seemed surprised at that. And th this guy's supposed to be intelligent, and he's surprised by that. I I I'm, I'm surprised that he's surprised. We'll be back with Wayne Madsen after the break. We're going to get into the beheading videos, which, of course, have aroused suspicion. They've served as a, a perfect propaganda tool for airstrikes on ISIS, and yet... 
we're told they're being produced by ISIS militants. Also going to go to your calls for Wayne Madsen on ISIS, Ebola and more. It's the Alex Jones Show live, Infowars.com. Stay right there. My Magic Mud is a tooth whitening powder that removes plaque and detoxifies your mouth. It's safe for your enamel, giving you a beautiful polish and a dentist-like clean after every use. My Magic Mud is also the perfect remedy for pain caused by sensitivity. It strengthens your teeth and gums for a strong, healthy smile. The ingredients are 100% natural and it's safe for children. Simply brush with My Magic Mud right before bedtime for a cleaning you can count on. Visit MyMagicMud.com. Digestive health is key to wellness, and Pro-EM-1 is the key to digestive health. Pro-EM-1 is a daily liquid probiotic that improves food absorption and supports weight loss by removing toxins from your system. Recommended by doctors, Pro-EM-1 is 100% natural, organic, non-GMO, wheat, soy, gluten, and dairy-free. Call us today at 888-611-8025 or visit Pro-EM-1.com to save over $25 on your order. That's 888-611-8025 or P-R-O-E-M-1.com. If you have candida overgrowth, just taking antifungal agents or starving yourself of sweets does not address the cause. Candida overgrowth is the result of a toxic, damaged, acidic, low oxygen, and inflamed tissue environment. The goal should be to remove the toxins, heal damaged tissues, restore healthy pH, eliminate inflammation, and feed beneficial bacteria. Previous usage of antibiotics or steroids or exposure to mercury or other toxins can damage many cells in the GI tract and body that make you prone to candida overgrowth. Removing toxins and healing tissue should be the goal. One World Whey is a whey protein food that supports detoxification, repair of tissues, and elimination of inflammation, healthy pH, and growth of beneficial bacteria. One World Whey is duly reformulated to be higher in protein and lower in carbohydrate. We believe One World Whey is an excellent food to support your efforts to create a healthy internal body environment. Call 888-988-3325 or visit OneWorldWay.com. That's OneWorldWhey.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Jones Show, we're talking to Wayne Madsen, investigative journalist and NSA whistleblower, talking about ISIS. Here we have a story out of Infowars.com, Kurt Nimmo. ISIS now capable of downing airliners at Baghdad Airport. The U.S. Embassy in Baghdad may soon fall prey to ISIS. They have the area surrounded 
and they're armed with anti-aircraft missiles, thanks to our friends, the Saudi Arabians. Once again, we're going to get into Saudi Arabia's uh, alliance with Israel, according to Wayne Madsen, uh, coming up later in the show. But I just wanted to ask Wayne about these beheading videos. We had another hostage video supposedly produced by ISIS yesterday of the British journalist John Cantley. Wayne, you know, given that these videos, they only seem to bolster the case for U.S. military expansion in the region. They bolster the case for airstrikes targeting ISIS. Very emotional propaganda. Again, a lot of questions have been asked about these videos. Should we be suspicious as to their origin, given previous examples of so-called Al-Qaeda videos, which lead back to the Pentagon? Yes, absolutely. As a matter of fact, it seems like these videos are quote unquote discovered by a, uh, an organization in Washington that I've been looking at for a number of years called the Search for International Terrorist Entities or SITE. It's actually run by uh, an Israeli Iraqi American named uh, Rita Katz. And listen, uh, they, they were the ones who discovered a lot of these fake Bin Laden videos. And now they're discovering these beheading videos. I'm not suggesting that these uh, people who have been uh, killed uh, ostensibly by beheading are not dead, but I, I think it's somewhat questionable as to whether they they actually were uh, uh, beheaded live. Uh, uh, and the, the whole the whole thing looks like a, a you know a bad uh, grade P movie. Um, and I think there's been some uh, video forensics people who have looked at these uh, videos and determined that there's a lot of fakery involved with their production. But you know after we saw the U.S. Uh, CIA compound stormed in Benghazi after the uh, production of that uh, trailer called The Innocence of Muslims, which was uh, uh, involved a lot of uh, uh, dodgy people in Los Angeles, including those in the porn industry. You have to wonder, where, where are these videos coming from? What is the intention? And are they what they pr are purported to be? I, I have serious doubts about the uh, the, the uh, uh, whether these videos are in fact showing beheadings. Uh, although I must say, I believe that those hostages uh, are probably dead, unfortunately. I mentioned Saudi Arabia earlier regarding their arming of ISIS with anti-aircraft missiles. You've got a new book out, The Star and the Sword, which alleges this alliance between Saudi Arabia and Israel, which was intimately involved in plotting the 9-11 attacks. So give us a rundown of some of that evidence and how this uh, came to fruition regarding the connection to 9-11, Saudi, Saudi Arabia and Israel. Well, when I was actually on the trail of uh, the, the perps behind 9-11, the one issue that came up is, you know, I was looking at the, the location of the 19 uh, uh, alleged hijackers. I was also looking at the location of about 120 Israeli uh, art students. They weren't really art students. They were obviously uh, intelligence uh, officers and agents over here in the months leading up to 9-11. Uh, that they were identified in a Drug Enforcement Administration report as being involved in some sort of intelligence operation in the United States. I was looking at the, the fact that they, were, they and the 19 hijackers were living in the same locations in places like Hollywood, Florida, uh, Irving, Texas, near Dallas-Fort Worth Air, International Airport, uh, in North Jersey, uh, in, 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 very close to New York City, um, in places like Jersey City, for example, uh, outside of Washington, D.C. And, and Laurel, Maryland, and, and other locations. And, and the problem was, were, you know, do you, was it the case where the Israelis were monitoring the hijackers? Uh, and if so, why didn't they inform us? And, and uh, it, you know, the, obviously, uh, knowing the relationship, the close relationship between Saudi Arabia and Israel, one of has existed since after uh, it predates Israel itself. When um, the first modern Saudi king, Ibn Saud, sent a letter to uh, Haim Weissman, the head of the World Zionist uh, Organization, saying, look, uh, we have no problem, we Sauds, with you establishing a homeland for the Jewish people and the British Mandate of Palestine. Uh, it starts from there, 
And obviously, this was not a case where the Israelis were monitoring uh, those uh, hijackers. They were providing material support and cover for those. We'll hijackers. be back after the break with more from Wayne Manson. Taking your calls, Infowars.com. Keep it locked in. We're on.